Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna be doing something a little different. Usually I am vlogging about my travels and just about my life overseas, but I am now settled into a new place. Uh, we have a new apartment, a high rise downtown. So I'm really excited and I love it here. People have been wanting me to do a makeup tutorial for years, years, years. So, and I don't know, I, I tried one time and I was like, mm, no, but I felt like I was ready. Like, I feel like I'm advanced enough now to show you what I do because before I used to just be using anything, but now I've learned about like, you know, different products, different brushes. So I'm more like intentional about what I'm doing. I'm not just in like, oh, it looks great. Cause I have nice skin and you'll see my skin, not to toot my own horn, but I do. I have nice skin. So when you have nice skin as a foundation, it's so much easier to do your makeup. I enjoy doing my makeup. I don't enjoy doing others. Um, I am a licensed esthetician. So if I wanted to be a professional makeup artist, I could. I just have no desire. Um, but I have taught everyone around me a lot of things. Like all of my friends, family, foes, um, everyone has learned like a makeup tip or two from me. So I'm happy to share my makeup routine with you guys today. This is the look. Um, I use a lot of Fenty products. I love Fenty Beauty. Like Fenty Beauty is great for my skin. I just moved into this space a month ago yesterday. So this is actually my first time doing my makeup at my vanity, which I'm really excited about that. Um, well, I've already done it. But it was really exciting doing my makeup here at my vanity. So I'll show you my vanity as well. But yeah, so let's just get right to it, guys. So like I just said, this is my first time doing my makeup here. So I just set all of these brushes up. And these are all Morphe brushes. I haven't really set this up all the way. But that actually is a speaker as well as a mirror. So that's my full vanity. And this is the view from my bedroom, which I love. So here is that beautiful skin I was telling you about, yes, and there is a pimple. This is where I get my period pimple every month. Just got my eyebrows arched and my mustache waxed for this video. I am ready, yes. After cleaning and moisturizing my face, the first thing I do is apply primer. I haven't been using primer for a very long time, maybe like a year, and this is a hydrating primer. At first, I was using a matte primer and drying my skin out. And then I switched over to the hydrating. And as you can see, you don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. Next, I apply my foundation. This is the Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I used to wear the matte longwear foundation, but it was drying my skin out. Having a little trouble there. I apply some of my makeup, not all, with beauty blenders, so I like to just wet them before I even get started. I soak them and then wring them out. Don't need a lot of foundation. And then I just go in with my beauty blender and blend it all in. And you have to make sure that it is damp for it to blend properly. And this is not sped up, this is in real time how fast I'm moving this beauty blender. So in order to blend properly, you have to move fast and blend a lot. over the same areas multiple times but that's how blending works it's very repetitive so you have to just keep at it until everything is blended now I'm gonna move on to my brows this is the brow definer by Anastasia Beverly Hills 
I've used a lot of their brow products, but this is my favorite because I feel like it's the most versatile. Now this is where a lot of people go wrong with the brows. That little part right there, once you fill that in, you have to blend, blend that in. That's very important. So these are both brows filled in with the Brow Wiz. And sometimes if I'm just going for like a slightly darker look or more defined, I'll use the pomade. Whenever there's more than one color to choose from, I just use both. Don't know why. And here is both brows filled in with the pomade. I used to always line my brows with concealer, but Beyonce inspired me not to. I just realized that these are magnetic. One is my contour stick and the other is a blush that I just got. So this is truffle, which is what I'm going to contour with. Fenty Beauty, of course. I used to do my highlight first and then do the contour, blend it in after. But a lot of makeup artists that I follow, they do it this way. They do the contour first. trying out new things like you'll hear me say I used to do that or I do this now something that I want to get is a brush to actually apply the contour to my nose I feel like I probably have one I just need to figure out which one because the precision that's needed for this is very hard to get with this stick All of my contour is applied and now I'm going to go ahead and start blending. I used to use my beauty blender but now I use this Eco Tools brush. while to like get everything blended in so I'm not going to show the entire process but just think about how long it took me to just blend in my foundation. Are brushes that I bought specifically for blending my nose. They are Morphe brushes. They're called the 360 brushes. So this is the three. The next one will be the six and the last one is the zero.
Now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. This is shade 330. I was using a lighter shade and I realized that I needed to go a little darker because that flashback was awful. Applying concealer under my nose like this is something that I just saw a lot of people doing so I kind of just picked up on it. But I do see the difference and I usually don't conceal my forehead but for the sake of the video I'm going to. Next I want to learn how to conceal my smile lines like that's something that I want to venture into. But I just take my damp beauty blender and just start blending in all of the concealer. learned from someone that I follow to take the foundation sponge and kind of blend in all the harsh lines so I do that over my whole face wherever I have concealer and contour meeting so blush is something that's relatively new for me I've been using powder blush for about a year now and I wanted to try out this cream blush and it's called Yacht Life At this point, I'm just unsure if you could even see it or not. I probably should have used a different beauty blender than the one with the foundation, but here it is. So now I'm going to use this brush to do my powder contour, and I'm going to use this palette using the darkest and lightest color because that just makes sense to me. There's also no reason why I have that palette. I got it in Kazakhstan and it was the only thing that matched my skin. So that's why I have that palette. I'll be using to contour my nose and I'm gonna use that same palette but I like to use a slightly lighter shade for my nose contour <laughs> Next, I'm going to set my face with setting powder, and this is in the shade Banana. I'm going to use my beauty blender for this that's already damp. This needs to be applied wherever you put highlight concealer on your face. You're going to put this over it just to set that concealer.
I didn't put concealer here because I haven't quite learned how to do that, but in the future, I would like to learn how to put concealer under my contour. But for now, I'll just put setting powder over it as if I put concealer there. powder sit for a long period of time I used to let it sit because like baking was all the rage like oh you gotta bake but baking too long is what makes you have that flashback and your whole face just looks white so I don't let it sit for long at all and I wipe majority of it off because it's set in there whether it looks like it is or not this looks ridiculous right now but the setting spray is what's gonna make this all make sense and this setting spray is by Urban Decay I've been using this one for years and setting spray is very important like setting spray is what's gonna give you that matte finish and make sure that your makeup stays in place now I'm gonna go in with my highlighter and in this case there are two colors and I'm just gonna use both applying blush which I usually apply before my setting powder but I forgot as I stated earlier I don't line my brows because I take the Beyonce route so I do this instead I just put a little bit of highlighter under there and for some reason people always think I have on eyeshadow but I don't put on any eyeshadow and here is the finished look look at me full glam natural glam Thanks for watching my first ever makeup tutorial. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe.